Hi, all my lovely people. Welcome back to She the People TV. I'm Dr. Tanushree Pandey, an obstetrician and gynecologist, and of course, your gynae guru on Instagram. And today, we are going to talk about how your vagina is supposed to smell. So, is it supposed to smell like roses? No. It's not supposed to smell like roses. It's not supposed to smell like anything but like a vagina. And every vagina has its own characteristic smell or fragrance or odor. And whichever word you want to use is perfectly fine because it's so uh, natural and so uh, characteristic of every different vagina owner. But definitely, it's not supposed to smell like some amazing perfume and it's not supposed to smell like roses. However, a fun fact, so many perfume makers, the biggest in the brands, have actually come out and said that the smell of a vagina is such an aphrodisiac, meaning it's such a turn on for people that as the finer notes, these perfume makers actually use the smell of the vagina, how a vagina smells as the under notes for so many successful perfumes and the list is endless. So be proud of the way your vagina smells. So if I had to uh, define how a vagina actually smells, it's kind of like a, a little pungent, uh, a little tangy and see it's uh, completely because of the pH, you know, because of the slightly acidic pH that the vagina has, especially during the reproductive age ages. And a little pungent maybe because of the different natural bacteria, the good bacteria that is there in the vagina. And trust me, it is for the right people and people who are attracted to you or for yourself. That smell is actually arousing, it's great and you should not be afraid, ashamed or feel conscious about it at all. So having put that aside, uh, you also have to know that the vagina smells differently at different times of the month. You know, if you're ovulating, it'll have a, a little different smell. If you're close to your period, it'll have a different smell. If you're stressed, it'll have a different smell. And that's perfectly normal. It's just like, you know, sometimes you get acne, sometimes you don't get acne. Your skin behaves oily sometimes, it behaves dry sometimes, seasonal variations, mood variations, stress variations. It's normal. So relax. Now, when is it where you should be a little alarmed? So that is when suddenly the vagina starts start smelling different from it what it normally does. A slight variation is normal. But you know, you pull down your panty and you're getting a very strange smell yourself, like a fishy odor, a frothy discharge, a curdy white discharge. It's itching. It's so bad that, you know, even when you have your clothes uh, pulled on and you, you know, you're just sitting and observing and suddenly you can smell something very weird. Now that is not normal. Why is it not normal? Not because it's not going to give you validation from your partner or people around. But number one, of course that, I mean, nobody likes to stink of sweat and be around people, right? And other than that, it means that you're either suffering from vaginitis or cervicitis or some kind of infection down there. So when is it that you have to be worried? If the smell has suddenly drastically changed, it's become fishy. You can see some swelling or some redness or itching on your vulva, which is the outside of your vagina, the lips or the vaginal area, right? The color, the consistency and the quantity of your discharge has suddenly changed. So if it's become really frothy, curdy white and uh, all copious a lot in amount, like, you know, you have to literally wear a pad because your panty is getting wet. These times you need to consult a gynecologist and take a treatment because it could be some a STI or a RTI, sexually transmitted infection that you're dealing with. Now, what are the things that you can avoid to reach this point? I know all those beautiful satin lingerie and those sexy panties are great. Reserve them for a fun night with your partner. Just one of those days when you feel like, you know, you, you want to feel sexy about yourself or whatever. The other try times, stick to comfortable cotton panties. Especially during the day when you're working and you're tending to sweat more or whatever. Stick to cotton panties. Don't use unnecessary vaginal washes, fragrant lubricants, things that are going to smell, make your vagina smell great, things that are going to brighten and lighten your vagina. All that is bullshit. Please don't go ahead with it and you don't need them because they're just going to lead to a lot of infection, a lot of itching, a lot of irritation down there. So no flavored lubricants, no fragranced lubricants. 
good basic water based lubricants but do use the lubricant because you know all that friction can again lead to infection use condoms so that you are protecting yourself from an sti you are protecting yourself and getting contraception as well so cotton panties non fragrance water based lubricants are the go to thing use condoms to protect yourself frequently change your panties if it's hot especially you know how the weather is in india most of the time and all of that change your panty twice in a day and don't use talcum powder as much because that then has a mixed bag of reviews some studies say it causes ovarian cancer some say they don't so why talcum powder necessarily and uh, then of course make it a habit every time that you're going to pee please use a tissue paper and keep yourself dry unnecessary urine around that area a lot of sweating around that area is just going to lead to uh, infection and a foul smell so use a toilet paper use basic hygiene and that should work just well with you however which way don't compare yourself to roses don't compare yourself to chinese food i imagine if a rose starts smelling like chinese food it's not going to be great like so if the vagina starts smelling anything different there will be no fun to it so just enjoy your own smell because that's what makes you how beautiful you are and yes say three cheers for the way your vagina smells hope you enjoyed the video subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us